If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. Erin Brockovich is a 2000 American biographical legal drama film directed by Steven Soderbergh and written by Susanna Grant. The film is a dramatization of the true story of Erin Brockovich, portrayed by Julia Roberts, who initiated a legal case against the Pacific Gas and Electric Company over its culpability of the Hinkley groundwater contamination incident. The film was a box office success and gained positive critical reaction. The film received five nominations at the 73rd Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director for Soderbergh, Best Original Screenplay for Grant, and Best Actress for Roberts, which she won, and Best Supporting Actor for Albert Finney. Roberts also won the BAFTA Award, a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and multiple critics' awards. Soderbergh received a separate Best Director nomination for Traffic, another film released that same year, which he won. Early in the film, the real Erin Brockovich makes a surprise cameo appearance as a waitress named Julia. The real Ed Masery also appears in the same scene. The film was shot over 11 weeks, five weeks of that taking place in Ventura, California. Erin Brockovich performed well with test audiences, but executives at Universal Studios were worried that the audiences would be turned off by the title character's use of profane language. The film would go on to gross $256 million against a $52 million budget. Some interesting trivia notes. The real Erin Brockovich Ellis claimed that the film was 98-99% to accurate. Julia Roberts received an unprecedented salary for her lead role, making her the first woman to break the $20 million barrier. The character of George, the biker boyfriend played by Aaron Eckhart, was based on Erin Brockovich's Ellis' Mexican-American biker boyfriend, Jorge. Erin and Jorge did break up, but he did not ever leave her life. He was hired as a full-time live-in nanny for Erin's children for several years, paid for by the law firm so that she would have more time to devote to her work. The real Erin Brockovich sold the rights to her story to Universal Pictures for a reported $100,000. In the film, Ed mentions to Erin that he has the challenge of living with diabetes while managing the firm. The real Ed Masry ultimately died from complications of his diabetes. Hinkley's toxins made the real Erin Brockovich sick at one point. Steven Soderbergh filmed a scene set at the hospital, but later cut it out from the final product. He'd say, I didn't want people to think that this was going to turn into one of those movies where the protagonist gets terminally ill, he said on his DVD commentary. It was a tough call because Erin really did get sick and was hospitalized for a while. The real Erin Brockovich claimed that while her cleavage may have had influence, she never consciously used her body to manipulate anyone, as the movie shows. After the success of the movie about herself, Erin Brockovich was the target of blackmail attempt by her first husband, an old boyfriend, the George Biker character in the movie, and then their attorney, who threatened to smear her reputation as a parent. She then called the police, who recorded the shakedown threats and arrested them. The attorney reportedly served time in prison as a result. Albert Finney initially turned down the film. Danny DeVito had to convince Finney's girlfriend to convince the actor to change his mind, offering to schedule all of the actor's scenes as Ed Masery closer together so he wouldn't have to be in Los Angeles as long as earlier scheduled. Just a quick background on the real Evren Brockovich. She was an American paralegal, consumer advocate and environmental activist who was instrumental in building a case against the Pacific Gas and Electric Company involving groundwater contamination in Hinkley, California, with the help of attorney Ed Masery in 1993. Since the film, Brockovich has become a media personality as well, hosting TV series Challenge America with Erin Brockovich on ABC and The Final Justice on Zone Reality. She is the president of Brockovich Research and Consulting. She also works as a consultant for a New York law firm, Wentz & Luxembourg, which has a focus on personal injury claims for asbestos exposure and shine lawyers in Australia. She worked as a consultant for the now defunct California law firm Garoldi & Keese. Now, I personally have never been a major Julia Roberts fan. She's one of those actresses that can really be hit or miss for me, but I'm happy to say in this film she is absolutely magnificent. She brings depth and authenticity to the character, and her portrayal of the real Erin Brockovich is often cited as one of her strongest performances of her career, and also one of the strongest aspects of this very good film. The film also effectively combines elements of drama, legal thriller, and the touch of humor. The storytelling is engaging, and the pacing keeps the audience invested in the unfolding events. Steven Soderbergh employed a documentary-style approach to this filming, using handheld cameras and natural lighting to create a realistic and gritty feel to the movie. So this sort of style, coupled with the, the fact that this film is based on true events, adds a layer of realism to the film. I found it really successfully conveys the struggles of its individuals infected by the contamination. For me, the legal battle against the powerful corporation provides a compelling backdrop for the narrative. The film explores themes of justice, environmental responsibility, and the power of the determined individuals to make a difference. And in many ways, it is a feel-good story, although based on tragic real-life events. 
One thing that really was powerful about this movie is it not only entertained audiences but also had a real world impact by shedding light on environmental issues depicted in the film. It inspired discussions about corporate accountability and environmental activism. Look, unfortunately there are many stories like this where big corporate companies get away with literal murder. But this is one of those stories where through two people's absolute determination they managed to bring Pacific Gas and Electric down to its knees. It's truly an inspirational tale and through the fantastic performances from Julia Roberts, the wonderful Albert Finney and of course phenomenal direction here from Steven Soderbergh, it brings this true life tale perfectly to our screens. Aaron Eckhart is almost unrecognizable here in his performance and I enjoyed his little sort of personal aspect that he brings to the film. Also the repartee between Albert Finney and Julia Roberts is just stunning to watch. You could see the two developed a real connection and have fantastic chemistry on screen. This is an overall well crafted film that combines an engaging narrative with some powerful performances making it a standout in both legal drama and biographical genres. Julia Roberts rightfully won the best actress Oscar that year and this is a film that even though it was made in 2000 really stands the test of time. Erin Brockovich gets a 9 out of 10.